Today we're going to be looking at ZZ Top Sharp Dress Man. Now there's two guitars on this, so I'm going to show you both guitar parts just in one. At the end of the video there'll be a little beat track that you can play along to so you can practice the actual lesson. Don't forget to share and subscribe, and I'm using my trusty Fender Nocaster. Mm -hmm. So let's get into this. Okay, so the first part of the song we're going to look at goes like this. <laughs> So we'll look at this in two parts, and the first part goes like this. Now he actually plays the bass part with his thumb, so he goes more like... But I, I find it easy enough to come up with my, my, and use my finger rather than using my thumb. I've got arthritis in my thumb. I do sometimes play it that way, but it makes my thumb ache, so I, I, I don't use my thumb. So this first bit's nice and easy. You're playing a double note on the eighth fret of the E string. And then you're playing two notes together. So you're playing on the 10th, which is the D and the G string. And you come down to the eighth of the D and the G string. So you've got But now you change over, so you're playing the A and the D string. So you're playing the 10th now of the A and the D. So you've got this. You come back to the 8th of the E and then put a double note there. And you're playing the same notes again, but now you're just going. So you've got. So the next piece goes like this. So you've got this. So the notes for this piece, you start in here on the third fret of the E string on the G, then you come here to the second fret of the A string, so you've got an A sharp, and then you come to a C and you do a C power chord. So there I'm playing the third fret of the A and the fifth fret of the D. So when ZZ Top play this, they don't come here and do the C here. What they do is go. And what they're doing is they're playing like the C chord here. So they're bringing their finger down. They're muting the E string. They're playing the uh, C note here, which is the second fret of the B string. And they're playing the G open. So you're catching them two strings. So that's the way they're doing it. Which does sound really nice that way, but you might find it quite hard to do that. So the other way of doing it is just sliding up to the C or coming, at, coming up to that C there. So now we come to the verse, and the verse goes like this. singing comes in and you end up with this and then you're back into the so this starts off nice and easy because we're playing a part we've already learned so you play that twice and then you come to a G and then you play a, a C power chord slide down to a B flat and then B, B flat again to an F. So you've got this. And then round again. And now you come from this F and you move up to a G. And then they finish with this little bit and they've got an E flat, a B flat, and then to the C. So your E flat is your first fret of your D string, your third fret of your G string, your B flat, you've just lifted the fingers up one string, and then you slide to the C. You play
play the B flat twice, and then you're back into. So I hope that was helpful for you. So like now I'll put a beat on so you can practice along with that. So for more lessons and pedal reviews, go and check out my homepage. Thanks guys.